Hey, hi, hello there. Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download another One Piece mod because you guys love the freaking One Piece mods. This time, I'll be playing Mine Mine No Me mod. I'll be going over how to download and install the mod, show you how to select your characters and types, and obviously play a little bit. Additionally, I'll be adding a sweet, sweet One Piece world map. Now, this is optional, but it has a lot of the ships and the towns from the anime, so you love it. As always, if you find this video to be helpful, smash the like button, subscribe, and let's get to it. Go to Google, type in mine, mine, no me, click on the first CurseForge link, or type the following to your address bar. I have the link below if you need that. Now click on the Files tab, click the download button for the latest file, wait for the file to download. Now we need Forge to run the mod, so let's go Google Forge 1.15.2, click the first link as shown, install the most recent version as shown, and then wait a few seconds, take it to skip button, click the skip to download. Now additionally, if you want the One Piece world file, go to Planet Minecraft and type the following to your address bar or find the link below. Click the One Piece download button as shown, then click the blue download button where it says One Piece world. Okay, so now go to your downloads folder and make sure you have these three files, My Mind Know Me, One Piece world zip file, and Forge 1.15.2. All right, for the world file, you're gonna need to unzip it. I recommend 7-zip if you don't have an unzipper already and inside it you'll find two world maps and we'll talk about this in a second. Now let's open up our Minecraft launcher and make sure that we have version 1.15.2 installed. If we do not, you're gonna need to install it by going up to the installations tab, click new installation, and now here in the versions area, type in 1.15.2 and then name what you like and click create. Go back to the play menu, click play. You need to install it first for you to install Forge. So the next step is go back to your downloads folder, double click the Forge installation button. Now from here you install client and then wait for it to actually install. Now go back to your Minecraft launcher and you should see that you have version 1.15.2-Forge installed. If you don't, then we're gonna need to go and repeat the steps of a new installation and you're gonna go and find a version of 1.15.2. Now type in 15.2 and you should see a Forge version of that pop up and just create that version of installations. Now go back to the main menu and select that Forge version that you just created. Now make sure it does say 1.15.2-Forge and then go ahead and click the play button. Now once Minecraft loads, click the mods button and here you should see all the mods that are actually installed. As you can see, we have none. So we wanna click open mods folder to open up the Minecraft's mods folder on our desktop. As you can see, it's empty. All we want to do is open up the downloads folder and drag the My Mind No Me One Piece mod over to the mods folder. Now, optionally, I'm just going to add Optify and the journey map to make the experience a bit better. You do not need to do this. Now, we're going to want to exit Minecraft and relaunch it. And once you relaunch it, you'll see if you go back to mods, you'll see that the mods are actually installed, the ones that we placed in the mods folder. Now, click done. All right, next thing is to play the actual game. So go to single player and create your own new world. If you want to go the optional route where you use the One Piece, world that we downloaded from Planet Minecraft. As you can see here, I have it highlighted. The way to actually install this is you wanna go back to your Minecraft folder, find this folder called saves, and there you have all the worlds that you've created and any additional ones you downloaded. Now once you have this up, go back to your downloads folder, unzip the One Piece world file, and then go ahead and copy, for example, Grand Line file and drag it over and you'll have that world saved in your Minecraft. I already did that so you can see it's right here. Uh, as soon as that's in there, you should be able to open up Minecraft once again and actually access that world. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now enter the world. As you can see, it does not look like a normal Minecraft world. It's been modified to actually look like the One Piece World Islands. Okay, and then each island has its own teleportation device and it's got boats and you can see a picture of the thing that they built. Uh, now, obviously you don't need this optional world file. You can just play this normally. As you can see that there's a bunch of One Piece outfits and weapons for you to enjoy. Now it's time to show you how to create your character and select the stats and types and abilities and all that jazz. What you need to do is click the R button on your keyboard and you should get a menu that pops up that looks like this. You have faction, race, and fighting style. And when you go to faction, you have a few different, you have pirates, marine, bounty hunter, revolutionary army. I'm gonna click pirate. Go to race, you got a uh, human, you got fishmen, you got cyborgs, you got minks, and I'm gonna click, uh, let's see, cyborg. Sounds cool. And then fighting style, you have um, swordsman, sniper, doctor, art of weather, brawler, and black lake. Uh, I'm just gonna click swordsman. And yeah, that's it. And if you click R again, you'll see that you have your abilities, quests, crew, and challenges, whether they're unlocked or not. Now you can see now everything is unlocked. Now I'll probably create a separate video showing how to actually unlock it and play the game. But now this is just how to install it. Uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.